Hello and welcome to the news in English live from Mogadishu with me I am Omar Nur the top headline is include Kenya gains more than 2 million US dollars from the Mira export to Somalia Hirshabella state president Ali Goodlawe has appointed a large scale cabinet ministries after more than 20 months in office Somali Prime Minister is expected to unveil his cabinet ministries in the coming hours. Al-Shabaab says it has executed seven people accused of spying on the militants for the Somalia and American intelligence services. Al-Shabaab militants fired mortar shells at Kenyan Defense Forces base near Mandera city on the border between Somalia and Kenya. Ethiopian regional state has claimed that hundreds of Al-Shabaab fighters surrendered to its army after a violent major attack in the border. Welcome back to the news in detail. It's just a week is after Somalia has officially lifted the two-year ban imposed on the importation of Qat, uh, the Mira from Kenya. Nairobi has already uh, gained an increase in the trade over the cash crop to the Mogadishu, uh, ranking uh, millions of dollars within just uh, four days. According to the Pisces Daily, based in Nairobi, Kenya has exported Mira worth of 2.2 million US dollars within four days, a significant sell compared to previous outgoing, further indicating how stimulant is quite popular for the consumption of Somali people. Felix uh, Mutwir, the head of the Mira in Kenya, has just uh, confirmed uh, to the local media that the country has exported 81.4 tons of the stimulant uh, Miraqat to Mogadishu since the market reopened uh, last week and uh, under the agreement between Somalia and Kenya. According to the officer, 19 traders out of 22 that has applied for the export permits had been cleared. Even more traders have sought clearance to get the licenses. This comes after traders in Kenya accused brokers of trying to reintroduce the recurrence in the trade between the two countries. We have so far exported 81.4 tonnes in the last four days and we expect the volume to grow in the next coming days. More people are clear to, to ship out to their commodity said the motor in a press conference. The direct trade started issues exporting the licenses to Mira traders last week after they were cleared under the new regulation. Anyone who exports Mira without registration and a license is liable for the sentence of up to three years or a fine of uh, 50,000 that Business Daily has reported. Currently, a kilo of Mira to Somalia is now going for 23 US dollars which is still lower than the compared to the 25 US dollars that it was before the market in Somalia was closed. Ethiopia is the major rival of Kenya in the Mira business with the Horn of African nation.
the Somal the Somalia based Al Qaeda linked militant group Al Shabaab has announced it executed at least seven Somali people in southwestern region of Bay in the country. The execution that was conducted publicly took place in the vicinity of Bulafulai within the Pai region under Southwest State last Saturday. Six of the accused men were accused of spying for the Somali government and the two others have been accused of spying for the U.S. intelligence three of whom were also accused of providing uh, intelligence that led to the killing of senior Al-Shabaab leaders Yusuf Chis and Abdul Qadir commandos who were targeted in U.S. airstrikes in 2020. An Al-Shabaab judge uh, told the local uh, spectators that the six men have been confessing uh, without providing evidence. Al-Shabaab courts don't allow lawyers who can defend the accused. Meanwhile, Ethiopia's Somali State President Mustafa Agder said the region's special forces operations against Al-Shabaab militants inflicted heavy losses on the attackers. He said they believe that the troops killed 600 of Al-Shabaab fighters during their operation against the militant group who last week infiltrated Ethiopia, sparking a new confrontation near the Somali border with Ethiopia. We are still following our news in English live from Mogadishu. Hir Shabel, State President Ali Goodlawe Hussein, has appointed a cabinet for the first time after being in office for nearly two years. Goodlawe has appointed 27 ministries, 27 deputy ministries, and 27 state ministries, according to the statement released by his office on Sunday late night. Hirshabella has become the regional administration within the largest number of the government ministries. Gulau's state cabinet is expected to surpass the number of the ministries in the federal government of Somalia. Hirshabella also becomes the first regional administration to appoint a state minister to each ministry. The cabinet, which includes many younger politicians, will have to be approved by the state parliament before they can assume their responsibilities in the coming weeks. That's all for our today's English news live from Mogadishu with me. I am Omar Noor and the entire team of the program will leave you. Bye for now.